Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Swarner here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mod your 203 watt Xbox 360 power supply to work with your RepRap 3D printer. Let's get into it. So again, you will need a Xbox 360 power supply, and not just any, it's got to be a 203 watt power supply. It does say on the power supply, so it's really easy to tell which one you have. Once you've found out that you do have it, you're going to go ahead and take the end of the plug and just snip it off with a pair of scissors. Make sure you snip it as close to the plug as possible so that way you have um, a little bit more length on the wires in the end to work with. Now there's probably easier ways to do this. You might be able to actually get this off by using like large wire strippers. Uh, but for me, I just literally took some scissors and cut off and kind of just kept messing with the outer covering on the power supply cables. I sped that up because it took way too long. It was a little bit frustrating. It's a pretty, it's a pretty thick cable, um, which I mean is good. That way the cables are insulated, but to get it off does take a little bit of work. So just make sure you peel it all off all the way down to like the next little part of the plug right there. Once done with that, then I just kind of separated the cables inside. There'll be three yellow, three black, and there is a blue and a red one. So just kind of put the three yellow together, the three black together, and then blue and the red. Then I just used my wire strippers to strip off the ends of all of these. Hopefully you have better wire strippers than I do. Honestly, I normally just use my teeth to pull off the cables, but I didn't really want to do that on camera. <laughs> so I got my like 80 cent wire strippers that I picked up that aren't the greatest, but I guess they work, hey? So we're gonna now combine the blue and the red cables. I literally just twisted them with my hand. I didn't even solder them. You can solder them if you want. Twisting them worked fine for me. And this basically just makes sure that the power supply when it's plugged in does not stay in like sleep mode or standby. It actually go gets powered on when you plug it in. So I just twisted them. I slid over a little bit of heat shrink tubing to cover the exposed wire and sealed it up. You could always put a switch or something like that in between these two if you want to be able to switch the power supply on and off without having to actually unplug it. It's your call. I might do that down the line. Then I just twisted together all of the black cables and all of the yellow cables and I soldered them to each other. You will then need four cables. You're going to need uh, two thicker ones and two thinner ones. Uh, if you've got 12 aug, that'll work great for the thick ones. The thinner ones, uh, it doesn't really matter as much. So you're basically going to want to solder one of the thick and one of the thin to the positive terminals and one of the thick and one of the thin to the um, ground terminal or ground wires that you bunch together. I used helping hands. It was so much easier. So as you can see on the left side, I've got the helping hands holding the Xbox 360 power supply with all of the uh, positive yellow cables that are, I've soldered together. And on the right side, I have the thick cable and the thin cable that I then soldered together as well. So this is for the ground, I already did the uh, positive but this is the same way you do it so thick one on the left the other two cables on the right and you want to solder those together so basically taking that one or those three black cables that you solder together and turning that into two uh, ground cables so once you've done that just cover it up with um, some if you have heat shrink tubing or electrical tape just something so that way it's not all exposed then just take the RepRap plug and basically plug it in in order from left to right. The uh, thick red, the thick black, the thin red, and the thick, I mean, and then the thin black, sorry. So as you can see here, I've got the red and the black thick ones on the top. Then this is the thin red one. And then the thin ground one. lock those into place basically you've got two different rails or two different on the uh, ramps power supply the uh, thick ones are going to be for I believe it's the 11 or 12 amp rail and the bottom thin ones are for the 5 amp rail and then just you can you can put some electrical tape over the exposed plug and once you plug in the Xbox 360 power supply if you get the screen light that means that the red and blue cables are working successfully and you can plug it into your 
your uh, 3D printer. And as you can see here, my Z axis is dropping, meaning that it works successfully. So anyways, guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Um, there wasn't any videos in this as far as I saw, so I figured I should make a video. All there was was a little write-up in a forum from a long time ago, and I figured a visual would be a little bit easier. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this was helpful, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Dope Swanner, and I'm out. Peace.